So I'm gonna be going inside this store. For those who are new to the channel, I pretty much did a review of the arcade, the grocery store, and I just left this DVD, CD, and game store. All right, I, I Sutaya, Sutaya, I believe that's how you pronounce it. For this store, I don't know exactly what the store is called. The only word I can read on here is best. And I see TVs and stuff in the back, so it lets me know that it's potentially, you know, an electronic store, like Best Buy and stuff like that. But we're definitely gonna check it out because. You know, I am really into like these stores. I feel like these stores are so cool just to see how their stores are um, in their country. All right, because it's absolutely, it's kind of the same for our stores, but it's so much different. So right off the bat, I believe it is. Look at this stuff, man. TVs, 189,000 yen. Wow, that's 18, that's a lot of money for a 65 inch. I don't know what type of brand this is. Funai? I never had heard of Funai. Must be just like a Japanese brand. Washers and dryers. These are the washers and dryers in Japan. They're extremely smaller. But they're I think they're pretty cool because they have like they play like this music and all this other stuff. Makes it fun to do laundry. Look at this place. So definitely big. Let's go check some of this stuff out. Yeah, yeah. So we got tablets tablets here cameras they got cameras right here man it's crazy because i never knew what the store was but i need some more camera stuff and i've just been looking all over to see if i can find some cameras and stuff right here i got a couple of sony cameras some cyber shots don't really need those i need something that can actually record in good footage they got computers neck i believe that's the brand These computers are dope. 109,000 yen. So I don't, to be honest, use this, use this radon graphics. So it has 80, it has an AMD chip in it. Windows 10 home, four gigabits of RAM, or is that 32 gigabits? I don't know, it's one of these two. I can't really read that. So for those who don't know, in like Japanese society, Electronics are far more expensive than there is in the United States because it's treated as if it's treated as if it's, it's like a luxury. Um, it's pretty much like it's not essential. You don't need this stuff to live. So we're going to make you pay for it. Oh, wow. They even have SD cards here. I was looking for these. They don't have these on base, but they have them here. 16 gigabyte. That's kind of small. I don't see anything larger for Sandus other than 64. Got some more camcorders and stuff right here. Actually, the camcorders are not that expensive. These are. That's almost like it's like 880 bucks. It's like 690, 640. Yeah, look at this. Printer ink. Nice. More printer. We're gonna go down here to see exactly what they got down here. This is actually cool. They got some routers. Coming over here. This looks like. What is this? If I had to guess, 22.0 terabytes. So these are like um, storage drives. I don't know if they're for streaming as well. You can use it for streaming, but storage drive, they got like, like Yahoo. So the biggest like phone companies out here is AU, Yahoo Mobile, and SoftBank, which I have SoftBank. I don't really know the difference between them other than, I just went to the first place to be honest. And this is pretty cool. They still have, I don't know if this is a fax machine. This is a fax machine. They still have fax machines out here for sale for consumer sale you can you rarely find these um today in stores more tvs with some sumo sumo is real big out here in japan obviously japanese culture damn those phones actually work look at the selection of tvs some of these brands are japanese brands like sharp sony 
I think Toshiba is a Japanese brand as well. These look like DVD players. We have Blu-ray disc players. Like I said, Japanese, uh, Japanese, they, they live hugely on DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff like that, as well as CDs for their music still. So like the market here for that stuff is really, really huge still. Look at all these refrigerators, man. That's insane. Cool Japanese refrigerators. This has like one, two, three, four, five, six doors. Oh, wow. And they have, as you guys can see, they have a large selection. This is pretty cool. I actually sat in one of these at the arcade. They have one. Some size share. More refrigerators. Vacuum cleaners, Toshiba brands. That's a lot of money. It's 230 bucks, give or take. These look like the small, hold them in your hands and portable vacuums. I really haven't seen too many of the taller vacuums where you hold it in your hand and you go push. Actually, a lot, because you'll see some right here. Very unique looking. Only ones I really recognize are the ones, these ones right here, that kind of look like the Dyson ones. And they're expensive, see, 285, 85. That can't be right. 80, 85,000 yen, 850 bucks. A lot of people ask me, is, Jap uh, is Japan expensive? To be honest with you, yeah. Give or take, that's why you get paid what is called COLA, cost of living allowance. It's like, where we're at, it's like 540 bucks extra a month for us. These look like humidifiers. These right here looks like humidifiers. Yeah, for babies. Babies need humidifiers, which I find, which I find very funny because here in Okinawa it's very humid you need dehumidifiers just so that way you don't grow mold in your house because your house gets so it gets to the point to where your floors are like wet they got these Dyson fans we all know 800 bucks 800 bucks for this fan I don't know what this is it looks like a big heater if I had to guess I don't know Corona that's the brand. Corona. Like, right? You know? Oh, man. Oh, ho, ho. I gotta go over there as soon as I finish. Japanese toilets. These look like heaters. Or is it a heater? Or is it an air purifier? I'll probably say it's some type of yep, heater, maximum maxim heat. So these are heaters, mini fan heater. I don't know, I haven't, I mean, it's November here and it's still hot. So I don't know what month it gets necessarily cold or if it even gets cold out here. Cause I get mixed answers whenever I talk to people. Oh wow. AC units are really big. So you don't have like window AC units because of typhoons and stuff like that. So you have like this big outdoor unit that goes somewhere outside on the ground or mounted and you have these mount it in a room so it's very rare to find a, like a centrally heated centrally air conditioned home out here in okinawa because they're they're rare they're hard to find this is what they mostly use these wall units and i have one two three i have three and three in my bedrooms and i also have one big one from the ceiling in my living room that you know um covers all of downstairs essentially and i have my three independent ones in each room but they come with like a controller and everything it's pretty pretty nice the controllers in japanese the only thing we really know how to do is turn the bitch on and turn the bitch off that's pretty much it lights stoves wow that's nice hey 
Got some huge bikes. I want to take you over here to my best friend, man. The bidets. Oh. Heaven on earth right here. You know, when I first got on that bidet, I was like, I ain't never doing this shit again. Then I thought about it. I'm like, this is luxury. I don't ever got to wipe my ass again. Then I move into a home with a regular toilet. I was like, damn, I thought all the toilets out here were going to be bidets. Look at this. These things are like, these bitches play music for you. Got heated seats. They open up by themselves whenever it sends you coming. It's like, God damn, all you got to do is sit down and shit. I don't even think some of these automatically spray it. Let's go down this aisle. I don't think we went down this aisle. Batteries. Different type of batteries. You know, batteries are so difficult in Japan because they have it to where it's like, it's kind of hard to explain. Like for instance, if you're gonna order some type of battery from Amazon or something like that, it costs so much money to get it shipped here for some odd reason. And I, honestly, I gotta do my research on it. I got all these toothbrushes, you know, the electric ones, you'll see these and like in Best Buy and stuff for all this money, 240 bucks. I like some flashlights and stuff here. Soda stream. I actually wanted one of these, but not now. Jesus. 290 bucks. Got blenders or juicers. Look like juice machines. Some blenders here. Some coffee. I think that's for coffee. Yeah, coffee pots. Got some copier and printer machines. You'll find pretty much everywhere. You know, it's crazy because many Japanese homes here don't have ovens. Um, they have a stove top. Well, actually, I'll take that back. Yeah, many Japanese homes here don't have ovens. They have like a fish oven, just for like a small compartment to where they can cook fish in. But for many of the homes, especially some of the ones we actually looked at and seen, they come with like these countertop ovens like over here because they don't have oven hookups because a lot of homes don't don't use ovens so that's why you will see a lot of these around you also see a lot of these around it's like a huge microwave oven but it's used, used for cook, cooking food i don't know what they're called but that, i think i find that's pretty cool let's go see what they have over here though camera wise I know I kind of rushed through the cameras, but that's actually a section that I really need to be paying attention to in terms of what they have. More SD cards. Oh, wow, they actually have some nice. Mine's is sturdy, but not that much. I might end up having to get another one. I think this is the more expensive one for 59 bucks. And it's like. Oh, I like that. I like the way it feels. Action camera bag. I also have like these action cameras. I don't know what brand this is, but they have it for 74 bucks. It says it's 4K, but you know how that goes. More printer. This is the Sony. I think this is the AX43. AX45. I have the 53, so I have the one with the viewfinder. And it's a little bit, I think it's the same size. So you just have the viewfinder on it. I actually like this camera because it's 4K. I don't use it that often though because I have the smaller GoPros, they're more handy. But if I can find like a solid tripod, that, that's one that's not made entirely of plastic like mine's is. And I'm leaning more so on this one because I like this one. It's like, a, it's like mind you have to adjust it and stop, but this one goes by itself and I find that to be really cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm going to be going all over this island, finding new cool stores, and pretty much doing the exact same thing I'm doing now, reviewing them, seeing exactly what they got for future references. And holy crap, the SD cards here are expensive. 
So this one right here, 16 gigabytes for 26 bucks. You'll probably find that for 15 in the States. 16 gigabytes, uh, Extreme Pro for 33, you'll probably find it for 26 or a little bit cheaper. Um, then they have some of these down here. Okay, here's 128. They have that for, for 59 bucks. Eh. But it's a little bit different here. 80 megabits now uh, per second transfer speeds. Why is it 80 megabits? Ultra Plus? This was 130 megabits. Why is this one saying this Ultra? Oh, that's Ultra. That's not, that's not even Extreme Plus. They have it, it's different here. So the black ones are the Extreme Plus in America. These are pretty much the same. But 45. I have to do some research about that because that doesn't seem right to me. But that's the video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said before, if you guys want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to go all over this island finding cool places to record videos. So next time, it's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.